the amazing world of knowledge as well as the inventions it led to were possible only by studying what we see in nature this is about a place where nature and learning come together a space of calm and focus encouraging its inhabitants to get absorbed into the pursuit of excellence this is iid guwahati located at the banks of the river brahmaputra indian institute of technology guwahati is the sixth member of the iid fraternity and one of the premier technical institutions in india with the majestic brahmaputra on one side and with hills and vast open spaces on the other the campus provides an ideal setting for learning IIT Guwahati conducts undergraduate and postgraduate programs in a multitude of disciplines. These include bachelor's, master's, and PhD in various fields of study, as well as MA and dual degree program in select subjects. The fundamental uh, academic goal of IIT Guwahati is to promote the students with an educational training. that emphasizes innovation enhances dormant capacity motivates to achieve professional excellence and promotes social awareness the great thing about our curriculum is that we have so much of freedom to just explore what we want for example i as a computer science major can work with someone from design or say biotech and together we can create wonderful things academic staff are very cooperative with students and they open the door for all students anytime you can ask whatever you want the academic complex is the center of all academic activity in the institute it houses the academic departments centers the laboratories and classrooms every department in idg has uh, uh, a body called the dppc so it's like uh, a joint body of students as well as the faculty members so we have a single uh, phd representative as well as an mtech representative along with some faculties uh, uh, who uh, can come about and discuss the problems of the department one of these departments is the department of design which was set up with a vision to enkindle some of the brightest technical minds of the country with a passion for innovation in technology driven by a firm understanding and appreciation of design today we are offering uh, three programs uh, in design very unique to iit guwahati because among the iits it was the first iit to offer an undergraduate program and following that in this last 15 years we have commenced the masters program and the phd program also in design the department has many industrial partnerships with renowned corporations providing students a hands-on experience on live industrial projects in the areas of interaction design product design visual communication and media we are also able to draw courses from other disciplines other departments the computer science department the electronics department the department of humanities and social sciences which makes a lot of sense for design learning the program draws upon strength of being in iit in drawing the courses from other departments too major projects being undertaken at various other departments are also related to solving immediate issues faced by the public while others involve cutting edge research in the respective areas an example of this is the electronics and electrical engineering department where the major ongoing project is aimed at revolutionizing india's transport system well one of the flagship project that we are executing in our department especially in the group of electrical machines and drives is in the area of e mobility and focusing on public transportation well india being a very fast growing country economically there is a massive need to transport people from one location to the other especially in the cities and the cities are growing beyond 
uh, their capacity and due to that it has caused a lot of traffic problems and transportation problems. So we are trying to address that issue using uh, electric buses. The project aims to come up with a cleaner, more efficient and user-friendly transportation mechanism by developing wireless vehicle charging technology. The result will be enabling transport of people by vehicles causing much less pollution in a short span of time and reducing traffic congestion on roads. Moreover, we are addressing problems which are relevant to India, which is an emerging economy. So if somebody wants to understand what are the typical difficulties of an emerging economy and what kind of innovations are required to address them, so they can get a first-hand experience on these issues. The Department of Physics is another example where advanced research is being conducted in collaboration with the world's leading scientists and organizations. Uh, we have people working on uh, very different fields like uh, condensed physics, uh, they're working on updates. Uh, there's a very strong and vibrant uh, high energy physics group. Um, so I'm going to focus more on high energy physics because of my particle physics. Um, so we're working on uh, a particular experiment that is called the Long Basin Experiment, uh, where it gets me to play a major role in it. And one of the detectors uh, for the experiment we are going to build in IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati is one of the 81 institutes worldwide involved in the LBNE experiment, working together to plan and develop experimental facilities which may help solve some important mysteries of the universe. So, I think it is an ideal opportunity for our graduate students as well as the master students to get involved. And I'm not talking only about the students from physics, the students from technology, students from mechanical, students from uh, design, uh, in addition to students from physics, they can get involved. All these projects are made possible because of the facilities provided to the departments. The Central Instruments Facility provides state-of-the-art equipment required to fulfill the research needs of multiple departments and centers of IIT Guwahati, as well as the needs of other researchers working in various universities, research institutes and industries situated in Northeast India. A lecture complex with four lecture theatres provides space for teaching and holding various events. The Computer and Communication Centre houses a modern computer centre and central library. The students can also delve deeper into any subject via the versatile and rich collection of books at the library, spanning many fields from computer science to animation and music. IIT Guwahati is a self-sufficient and fully residential campus. It provides its residents all the necessary facilities required for daily life. In addition, there is a regular bus service for the residents to and from the city. The Institute Hospital provides medical facilities to the staff and students in the campus. It is well equipped with two ambulances, an emergency ward and a medical store. A market complex is situated within the institute, complete with a multi-cuisine restaurant and several shops to cater to students' daily needs. However, a number of students like to have their evening tea at the bustling coca market just footsteps away from their hostels. Not far from the hostels are the banks of the river Brahmaputra. People can get to the city faster by taking ferries going regularly across the river. Students also go there to relax. It's a delight to sit on a rock by the river and enjoy the spectacle of the sun disappearing over the mighty Brahmaputra.
All the students live in hostels on the campus, which are quite pleasant and comfortable, with dedicated facilities such as canteen, juice center, library and sports room. With one person per room and the lush greenery surrounding the hostels, the residential life is very convenient as well as peaceful. Living together in a happening hostel environment, students have the opportunity to develop strong interpersonal relations, which may well last a lifetime. Uh, India, from what I learned, I've been here for three months and it's super, super diversified. Uh, you get people from all over India to come to Aitigwal and everyone speaks a different language. Everyone interacts in English or in Hindi, but they all have backgrounds that are different. They come from places that are different. They have different beliefs and when you get to learn all that, it's really amazing for a foreign, foreigner like me to, to see that. Some of my best friends are from different regions in India and you get to learn so much just by talking to them. They lend their own unique perspective to every discussion that we have. It's, it's so refreshing. Apart from these hostels, there is also a married scholars hostel for married postgraduates. Sports activities include numerous indoor and outdoor games and sports. The sports complex consists of an indoor sports stadium with many courts, a swimming pool and floodlit playing fields for all major outdoor games. This provides great opportunities of recreation for the campus residents. Enthusiastic students can go on to take part in very competitive and prestigious events like the Inter IIT Sports Meet. Every year, the students and administration of IIT Guwahati together organize a number of festivals and competitions. The campus becomes most active during the four days of Al Charinga, the annual cultural festival. With a variety of styles in music, art, dance and drama performed every year by national and international artists, being in touch with the world's diverse cultures is a magnificent affair. Technish is the annual Techno Management Festival of IIT Guwahati. Technish is a rendezvous of great innovative and entrepreneurial minds of the country where young minds are nurtured. Wisdom is imparted to students who aspire to be at the forefront of innovation. We have a lot of technical, social and cultural activities going on very regularly. So we have a lot of clubs uh, that pertain to you know, maybe robotics or anchoring or drama. The recently built Students' Activity Centre provides dedicated space and equipment for various clubs having facilities such as soundproof music room and multi-purpose halls. So, I think uh, it is a very good uh, platform for people of different interests and talents. Uh, sit down and uh, you know explore what are the possibilities and learn from each other how they can improve their talent. And, uh, there is a very good support from the ITG administration also uh, if you want to do that. Our institute tries to make the stay of the students in the campus as comfortable and as memorable as possible. Not only are students nurtured but they are also secure. Students can rest assured of safety in the premises. The campus is guarded round the clock by a trained personnel. The high level of safety is thanks to the stringent security system set in place by the administration. Why should somebody? Why should somebody want to spend time uh, at IIT Guwahati? I think uh, the ambience is just right. It's one of the most beautiful campuses uh, amongst the various IITs. The, the, the first thing that comes to mind when you visit our college is just how beautiful the campus is. You've got so much of greenery here. The weather is amazing. 
it's just a very nice place to live in. IIT Guwahati is in Guwahati, but uh, Northeast India is is a, a wide place with a lot of stuff to see, and you can travel from the campus to there in no time and see a lot of different beautiful places. In uh, IIT Guwahati, we value academic excellence and freedom, both at problem solving and at the level of conceptual advancement. For an institute which has been located in one uh, in the northeast corner of India, uh, we have left a footprint. Today, IIT Guwahati is recognized as an institute to go to when it comes to engineering learning as well as design learning. Uh, this has been very positive for us. Life at IIT Guwahati provides a combination of peace and resourcefulness that are essential ingredients to successful learning and innovation. As ever, it continues to be one of the most excellent institutes in India.